Hello, everyone. Hi. Welcome to the studio. It is Anna Walker at StabThingsIntoExistence.com. Welcome. It is a Monday morning. We made it through the weekend. Yay. <laughs> and now we have another week to go. Um, but yesterday was a hand stitching day and my fingers are sore. Um, but the peace flags are ready to go. And I just wanted to give you a little look at them. These will be um, in a separate post here fairly soon. Um, I have a person who gets first choice because she said she wanted to. Um, so she's going to take a look at all five and determine which ones she wants to get. And then I will let you know which ones are still available in a post that will be on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, but each of these have a little vintage-esque hanger that I'm still working out the kinks on, on the best way to, to do that. Um, but it'll be finished by the time they get posted. And they are complete. Now there are two different looks. Um, for the last three, my fingers got really tired of doing all those French knots. And so I managed to find a little fibery, fluffy way to finish the large sunflower. Um, but each one features a large sunflower, a small sunflower, a little bit of greenery, and then each of them in different places has a U in the sky for Ukraine. And as I said earlier, these are all going to be, oh, there we go. These are all going to have the proceeds of the price of the um, Peace Flags is going to be donated to the International Red Cross's efforts in Ukraine. Um, they're going to have a $50 recommended donation, but you can donate more. Um, but $50 is the recommended amount, and there are a total of five available. So watch for a post later today, um, hopefully later today, if my um, first individual is able to make their selections um, in time. That post will be later today, and it's pretty much going to be a uh, first donate, first served. Um, they can be shipped in the U.S., um, and it'll be actual shipping charges, so that'll depend on your zip code. And they will be shipped flat. I've got plenty of cardboard here. I can make a nice flat um, piece, nice flat covering for these. And, of course, they'll have my grateful thanks for helping with this um, fundraiser for Ukraine. But the peace flags are not all that I was working on this weekend. Let me get my head off the pike. I was working on the fascinator and I finally have the cinema attached. The cinema is that um, firm open weave um, fibers that are, if you see a see-through uh, fascinator, you'll those are usually made out of cinema. But I use cinema as a way to give the felt piece um, a little bit of stability. So the cinema has been stitched to the felt circle. I will be stitching the flower and additional adornments onto this, but our fascinator is ready for someone to wear it and fascinate. Um, this hopefully will be finished in a few days and I'll post pictures. It'll attach with a hair comb, um, so it'll just sort of put the comb in and that'll hold the fascinator in place. Um, there are a lot of different ways you can do fascinators. Some of them use combs, some of them use clips, some of them use um, headbands, you know, just the hair elastic. <coughs> I didn't want to go the elastic route because I know there are some people like me that don't have a big ridge on the back of their skull to hold a hair elastic in place. So I decided to go the comb route for this one and we'll see how it turns out. But I am very happy with how this is coming together. I think somebody is going to rock this fascinator. And now that I know how to do it, I can't wait to make more. So that was my weekend, aside from having, you know, a rough night on Saturday night into Sunday morning. But it's, it's a good day. It was a beautiful day out yesterday. Um, it looks like it's going to be a little cooler today, which suits me just fine. 
I have the peace flags to uh, prepare a post for today, and I have videos to record this week. So be on the lookout for uh, new things to hit the website here very soon. A short weekend update because I got things to do behind the scenes. So I hope that you all had a wonderful weekend and that you are looking forward to this Holy Week and some, some introspection and some some deep and and heavy gratitude for the gift that was given to us um, i want to let you know how grateful i am for all of you and i hope you'll be back with me again tomorrow um, i think i'm going to take friday off this week um, good friday is always a somber day for me and i think that it would be appropriate for me to take that day off so i'll see you tomorrow and wednesday and thursday and then uh friday let's all just uh go deep into our th our thoughts and uh deep into our gratitude for a god that loves us so that's what i have for today i will see you all tomorrow thanks for being here and watch for the post about the peace flags bye